Hey there guys and welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. Time for World 3 Level 2 with some sort of sand castle face on the thumbnail. Ooh, nice little visuals. And we get Fighter Kirby. I don't think we've had this one before. Let's see if uh, the controls are still similar to what they were in The Amazing Mirror. Oh, we've still got the, uh, the Shoryuken and that rapid fire punch. Which I believe his uh, standard A move in Smash Brothers is based off of. Hey, another fighter guy. But yeah, the controls for fighter, uh, they're a little different than I remember. So, let's just not go with fighter right now. What is that thing? Oh, it's gonna fall. Yikes, that was too close. And those things don't give you anything, so... Oh, it's a big one. That's a new kind of enemy, I haven't seen him before. Alright, into the background. Okay, we have Whipcat. Well, I suppose, why not? Copy ability is a copy ability. Run, run. Oh, jeez. Jumping sand castles. Oh, he's gonna fall as well. And back to the foreground. Alrighty. Oh, that's not a good place to land. Jeez, Kirby, pick your landing sites better. And that's a spark guy. Yeah, I don't really like spark at all. It's one of the least useful abilities, in my opinion. Ooh. Oh, this. This is also pretty nifty. Yeah, I'm going way too fast for that thing. Oh, it's a bee. Does he give me anything? Oh, we'll find out later. Come on. Can I just get to... There we go. That bee. It reminded me of uh, those bee soldiers in Super Mario Galaxy. Maybe it... I wonder if it's intentional or not. Oh, jeez. Leave no keychain behind. No, no other way. You have no idea how tricky those gyroscope controls are when your 3DS is wired to your computer in three separate locations. Uh... Crap. I think I needed to jump out the boat when I was still attached to the pink thing. Because there's no way I'm getting up there with the key now. Hey, we hit the stone with the key, and it actually hurt him. That's nice. But, yeah, I guess we're not gonna be able to... Yeah, you can't inhale the, uh, key. So... Well, I guess we're not doing that one. Or at least not during this run-through. Okay, we have a beam enemy, a cutter enemy. I don't really like either one of those abilities. Whip's not the best either, but probably better than both of those. And beam is kinda like whip anyway, it's like an energy whip. But it doesn't get the cool Indiana Jones hat, though. Okay, there's a... Oh shit, there's a door behind that big sandcastle guy up there. Jeez, I am missing secrets left and right in this one. Not gonna get many sunstones in this one, I believe. Hey, Bandana D, how you doing? Give me some ice cream. Okay, Archer, Bomb... Okay, I'm going with Archer, because Bomb freaking sucks. And we all saw how effective Archer was against the mini-boss earlier. So, oh, this guy... He's been a staple of the Kirby games, always the generic hammer enemy. Because I don't really think there's any small enemies that give you hammer, you pretty much only get hammer from this guy. And he did not last long. I'm starting to think Archer is pretty damn overpowered. Anyway, hammer still kinda has all the moves I remember. And I remember hammer being pretty damn good, also pretty damn powerful, so oh, hang on there. And you can use it on this. Pound down the peg, reveal secrets. Not many abilities can do that. I think hammer is one, stone is one. Uh, in Kirby Squeak Squad, Metal Kirby could do that as well, but I don't think Metal is in this one. Or if it is, I haven't seen it yet. Out of the way, B. What do you give me, B? Spear. Wait, we already had an enemy that gave me spear, so... Now they have enemies that don't give you any abilities, and two different enemies that give you the same ability. That's kind of lame. I mean, if I wanted Spear, couldn't I have just taken uh, the Meta Knight-esque guys? What is that mummy thing? And why can't I inhale it? No, oh, it kind of works like the booze in Mario. If you look at it, it's not moving. If you look away, it creeps up on you. And why the hell... Can I not inhale that thing? Well, we'll just kick it then. I thought he was gonna give me a cool loop. Oh, crap, 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 no. Shit. 
Looks like I just destroyed another secret. Man, I am not doing well in this level. Absolutely terrible. Oh, keychain. At least I can still gather a few of those. Oh, damn it. I hate those sandcastle guys. So annoying. Okay, did I even pick up one bloody sunstone? I don't think I did. If I did, I must have missed one. Or I must have missed. I must not have been paying attention. And two. Oh, almost. And eh, two is good enough. Do your happy dance, Kirby. Keep on smiling. Uh, that's uh, also one thing why I like Kirby games. They always make you feel good. Because they're just so happy and cheery. You can't help but turn that frown upside down while playing a Kirby game. Okay, next level. Jeez, not a single sunstone. Yeah, I'm doing another run. I mean, I know where all the secrets are now, so they shouldn't be that hard to find. If I can just prevent that pillar from destroying that treasure chest and leaping out of the boat with the key at the right time. Okay, so he's got like a spinning kick and a shoryuken. He also had like a, a chargeable fireball in the Amazing Mirror, so he was pretty much just a, a Street Fighter ripoff. But I, I can't seem to do that one anymore. Maybe they changed the uh, the button combination for that. Oh, no going left. Okay. And dive kick. Oh, crap. Ooh. Too close. Jump over Sandcastle. I'm not going to bother with him right now. Run, run. Oh, nice. The uh, spinning kick took me right past that point. And too slow. Out of the way, Sparky. Okay, uh, this, yeah, this is the boat. This is where the first one is. Go, boat. Wee. Kirby looks so happy in the boat. And then there's the bee. We can get the key down, but we have the uppercut for that as well. Maybe that's why the bee is there, because the spear does help you reach that bomb thing a lot easier. Okay. Now don't mess this up. Slow, slow. Nice. Alright, got it. That should be a sunstone. Somewhere. Out of the way, broom guy. And flowers. Another broom guy. There we go. That's number one. Okay, so I'm guessing the other two were in that treasure chest that was crushed by that column that I accidentally knocked down, and in that doorway that was behind the big sandcastle. Seems like as good a bed as any, and those are the only areas that I haven't been to. Or the only chests I've destroyed. Come on, sand things. Lower already. And out of the way, beam guy. I'm not gonna bother with you. Oh! He dodged my kick, how dare he? Oh no, no, I need to go the other way, this one. Alright. No, 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 careful. Crap, can I go back? Oh, sweet, I can go back up. Alright, red doorway, those are usually the ones with... Yes. And the key's back there. Hey, it's that enemy. Oh, I didn't know the mic ability was in this game. It's not the most useful one, but it's pretty nifty. Basically, what it does is you get three uh, uses out of it, and one use pretty much just kills all the enemies on the screen. So it might be pretty useful in some situations, but since you only get three shots, it's kind of... Well, it might be helpful. It also does a shit ton of damage to bosses, I believe. I'm gonna go back and grab that mic. Come here, mic. Yeah, and Kirby gets sweet-ass beats by Dr. Dre. The most overpriced freaking headphones ever. Who the hell pays like 200 bucks for some headphones? If you own a pair of Dr. Uh, beats by Dr. Dre, you are a dumbass, good sir. And I am not even going to apologize for saying that. If you do, if you have one of those headphones, you are a dumbass. No simple way of putting it. Alright, let's go, Hammerman. See how much Mike is gonna deal to him. Yeah, Punk Rock Kirby. And boom, there goes over half of his health bar. So that move just destroys the bosses. Okay, he's got a new spinning attack that he didn't have before. 
We didn't really get to see much of what his attacks were like because we just destroyed him so fast with the archer earlier. Anyway, he throws coconuts. Oh! Motherfucker. That's a new move as well. Love how all the bosses have so many moves now. Because in earlier Kirby games, they had like two, three different attacks tops. Okay, do the spin. Oh, crap. Kind of misjudged the angle on that one. Okay, give me the coconut. Yep, the pattern is still recognizable as hell, though. Damn it, messed up the timing. Give me the star, and dead. So long, bonkers. I'm not really sure what the hell kind of goofy headband Kirby wears when he's, uh, Hammer Kirby, though. Like, what the hell is that a reference to? It looks... kind of Japan-ish. I've, I've seen one of those things in the customization option in Soul Calibur 5, I believe. I don't, can't for the life of me remember what it was called, though. I think some sort of Japanese word. Anyway, gotta be careful here to not knock down all of the columns. Out of the way, flying thing. Ah, uh, no, this one was safe. Oh, and that weird mummy thing is creeping up on me again. Okay, this one does not need to fall. So we go underneath. And then use the start to get there, and then we can open the chest, and that should be the final sunstone. Nice. So they didn't really hide them all that well in this level, I just completely screwed up every chance I got to get one of those. Oh well, you live, you learn. End of the level. Let's get out of here and move on to the next one, probably in the next episode. And can I get to the number one? No, not at all. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Barely get to number six. Jeez, Kirby, step it up. Eh, at least he's happy about it. Is there anything that Kirby is not happy about? The only time you ever see Kirby angry is on the box art. For some reason. Anyway, thanks for watching. In the next episode, we'll go to the next level. So, thank you. Bye-bye.